This video is a reference to Project Vlog, continuing with the series of Project Earth, looking at energy that affects us all on the globe, no matter where we live. And with this video, we're going to take a look at 44 days in, as of May 10th, 2017, the Scorpio full moon. And let's um, basically, any energy that spirit the universe would like to tell us to assist us moving forward since the beginning of the new zodiac year 2017 march 27th 2017 aries new moon so greetings welcome and cheers whenever you are joining us all right so i've been wanting to get back to the project vlog videos so here we go it's been way too long. So here we're just basically asking my spirit guides what they want to tell us and what's going to assist us moving forward for our lives, our paths, our personal journeys. And on March 27, 2017, the Aries New Moon, we started our new Zodiac year 2017. And the image that we're choosing for the cover image for this video is called Holy Fire by the artist Alex Gray. And that was also used in our Aries New Moon back, back in March 2017, our e-newsletter as well, because it is the opening up of, well, the image looks like the opening up of the heart chakra, which is what this year is all about. And for the next 14 years, we are in a process of entering into and developing and progressing in the element of water, which is love, passion, creativity, and spirituality. And we moved from the element of fire, holy fire, which is the spark of life, the spark of divinity within us all. Namaste. That was the past 14 years. So it's definitely a paradigm shift. And we are still working with, so I'll leave the, I'll leave the good one. I'll leave the link below so you can check out the image and the, the description below. Progress of the soul from the artist, Alex Gray. And... This is, this is a major shift for us as global citizens, no matter where we are on the globe, on planet Earth. And it definitely is big time opening up of the heart chakra for this year. And as I, I was discussing this with someone else, she said she saw this as a birth. And I said, absolutely. So we are birthing, we are opening up to love, we are hopefully loving ourselves first, because without self-love, not really going to get too far with a healthy relationship of any type. All right, so let's get to the reading. So what Spirit wants to relate to us is, oh, actually, what I wanted to say was first was the age of Aquarius that energetically, officially launched 12-21-12, the end of the world. Of course, it wasn't the end of the world physically, but energetically, we were stepping into the age of Aquarius. It's been discussed for many, many years, decades. I remember reading about it in the 80s. Many, many moons ago, I read material from Edgar Cayce. He was discussing it. Many people have discussed it in the past, of course. So there's always a transition when we step into the energy of brotherhood and sisterhood, knowing the knowledge or accepting and actually acting upon the knowledge that we are all interconnected, we are all connected, what I do to you, I end up doing to myself, and 
since taking, let's say, our birth was 12, 21, 12, we are maybe four and a half years in. So globally, our age is four and a half years old. So some people are acting like they're four and a half years old. So let's try to have love and compassion in our heart. There are a lot of adjustments, of course, and we are going from a male-dominated society energy to mixing the female and letting the female energy actually take over a little bit so we can balance the energetic scales, which is um, sorely needed. All right, now let's get to the reading. So they want to ask us, where are we placing our time, energy, and focus? Because that's what we're going to become. Now, the energy of karma comes up. So, you know, there's not much we can do about how we acted or reacted in the past. But we can, from this moment on, we can step back and act and or react in a higher vibration. Okay, from this moment on, we can. So, interestingly enough, around this time, so the actual Scorpio full moon is May 10th. The actual week in energetic influence would be May 7th through the 13th because it's the actual day of the new moon or full moon, three days prior, three days after. But also the energy of which is going to be a future film. The, the energy week of May 17th through the 24th comes up. So that's going to be a very telling week for us, 2017, of how we are evolving soul growth and soul evolution as a collective and as individuals. We'll see it individually in our personal lives, the good, the bad, the wise, and the wicked, based on our deeds from the past, which really is, by the way, really is our intentions behind our actions. Because we all, we all make mistakes, we all flub, but it's really the intentions behind the actions that we are being, we are getting repercussions from. The good, the bad, the wise, and the wicked. So anyway, that week should be very interesting. May 17th through the 24th. Let me just double check that week. Mm -hmm. Let's pay attention. Some of us will be assisted from the universe, from our individual spirit guides, from the universe, our higher self. Some of us need to chill out, <laughs> be more in the moment. I know it's not easy. Be more in the moment and enjoy everyday life and living. That will be very telling that week. So from this moment on, when we watch this, when you watch this video for the first time, where are you placing your time, energy, and focus? They also want to say not to give up on our dreams, our aspirations, our hopes, our goals for the future, and to remind us that we are co-creators with spirit. Now, it is true that the way the universe responds to our energy. So it's like we are wearing a huge magnet or mirror on our back. Responds. So if we're positive, positivity finds us. If we're negative within, negativity finds us. So, remembering that we are co-creators with spirit, what are you going to do to be in the moment? Personally, if you watch my videos, you know it's guided meditation for me. But what do you do? You can hang out in nature. You can hang out with young folk, with children. You can hang out with animals, animal companions. You can pray. What do you do to reflect, to chill, basically? Chillax, chill and relax, chillax. And then, 
Are we taking advantage that we are co-creators with spirit? Are we understanding that? Are we taking action on that? And are what are we manifesting? The good, the bad, the wise, and the wicked. It is based on our mindset, which is part of that intention, is key. Astrological terms, that would be the planet Mercury. So are we, you know, what, what's that saying from Jeremy Maguire? Help me help you. Are we helping the universe to help us or are we standing in the way <laughs> of the universe like blocking it every every inch of the way without us realizing it. So we are we are magicians, okay? So what are we doing? What are we doing with our own personal brand of magic? What are we presenting to the world? Even if that's not, you know, not on your agenda to help the world, what are you putting out in your social media? You're putting negativity out or are you putting positivity out? Remember, accent the positivity. Great song. So it's really where are we placing our time, energy, and focus. The energy that I attribute to this is through one's own effort. We want, we, we want to manifest. We have to let the universe know what we want. New moon intentions, right? If you watch our videos for the new moon intentions, new moon window of intention for manifesting. Not that we, we don't have to just do it three days a month. It really technically could be done any time. But our, our influence, what influence are we putting out? To the universe. I'm going to go with social media because, well, it's a big deal. Social media is um, all the buzz, right? I mean, I've jumped on the bandwagon myself. Don't get me wrong. So are we helping the universe to help us? And in essence, are we helping ourselves? I mean, there are always times to sit back and let things unfold and then there are times to take action. This is saying to be very proactive and to get in touch with our higher self, our heart, soul, and energetically connect it with the universe and make things happen. Make it so. Captain Picard, Star Trek Next Generation reference. So, you know, that magic that we all have within us, it's time to... It's time to make it happen. Make it so. All right, that's the energy message for us. All right, so I wanted to choose a card that would be, you can get your own message from the card. So this is from the Mansions of the Moon Tarot Deck by Zadok, 1999, published. It's the, um, the deck that I use for the birthday mini channel messages. And the card that we received is the Knight of Wands. So what I'd like you to do is pause the, pause the video, take a look at the image, and see what pops out and what personal message you are receiving. And then I'm going to give you my take, and then I'm going to give you what, what uh, I received personally. All right, so this is where you pause the video, all right? Okay, you're back. So I would say we are either the knight, whether you're male or female, it applies. The knight and the wand, which almost looks like a sword here, but the wand is basically the magic that we are wielding. Or are we, you know, the, the eyes of the knight looks like he's ready for battle. Are we still operating from the past, the crap that happened, and not being open to the possibilities of the future, which would bring us having to step back into the present moment? 
which is truly where all the magic happens. Or we could be the horse. I mean, the horse looks like pretty much um, on alarm there. And uh, maybe not ready to attack, but ready to protect themselves. Are we in the mode of... Are we overprotecting ourselves? You know, we want to protect ourselves from harm, but we don't want to protect ourselves from or harm or hurt. But, you know, again, this is an opening up to love, heart chakra, self-love year, as well as, you know, the arts will be will have a definitely boost this year. Creative expression, which I'm all for. So are we overprotecting ourselves that we're not, again, based on something that happened to us in the past? And it can go as far back as childhood. It could even go as far back as past lives if we have memories of or knowledge of. All right? So the image that I received, let me see if I can do this. Without the glare. Okay, I'm going to have to do it this way. The image that I received, I'm going to have to do it this way. Okay, without the glare. All right. The image that I received is actually whoop, right there. Butterfly. That's what popped out for me. So that symbolizes I am ready for transformation, which is very much a Scorpio, actually, keyword. Pretty much for to fly, to soar, to take off. I'm done with the past. I'm done being a caterpillar, and now I'm I'm ready to be a butterfly and um, fly away and fly and soar. Excuse me, soar to new heights. All right, that's my um, two cents. And since I for the reading, I'm actually using the. I actually have the box to show you. The Green Witch Tarot by Anne, I don't know, I'm going to kill the name, Anne Mora. Sorry, I'm killing her name. Beautiful deck. And I just thought I would show you their version of the Knight of Wands for reference. Okay? And see what, what that means, represents to you. So pause the video, look at this, and see what that represents to you and what message you receive from that. Beautiful interpretation. All right. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed and resonated. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. It's always greatly appreciated. Thank you. I'm going to try to get back to these project, project vlog videos, Project um, Earth, once a month. We'll see what happens, but that's what I'm going to shoot for once a month around the full moon time. And I'm going to ask you to, I mean, I'm playing around with, at the, the call it end screen on the videos, where I have buttons to, or links for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm waiting for my website to be approved so I can put a link to my website and also you know any suggested video that goes that I feel goes with this or anything playlist there you go probably have the playlist so on our website I'll put the link below in the description YouTube to our website project vlog where I have all the videos thus far I stopped back in August September of 2016 but this is the start of the revival, if you will. All right, so if you'd like to arrange a private psychic reading session with myself and my guides, just shoot me an email. And if you go on link Ask Spirit, I'll also put that link below, on our website, I have a few introduction videos to some of my spirit guides. I have Joy and the Angels of Theory, Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, and the Council. I also have a video called Introduction Spiritual Family. And then I have the Ask Spirit video series there. But 
the reason I brought you to that page is I have a list of the spirit guides, the guides that I connect with. So I'm actually just going to read the list. There is Jesus, Count St. Germain, and these are in order of appearance in, in my life this lifetime. Jesus, Count St. Germain, Archangel Michael, Joy and the Angels of Theory, The Council, Walt Disney, Archangel Metatron. And once a month I have a, a series of Ask Spirit, and I also have Ask Walt. Started with a series of Asking Walt Disney, a question as well. So thank you everyone for joining us. I hope this was of benefit to you. I found it, I found it um, quite interesting myself. All right, let's have a good one. Let's, um, you know, let's make this world a better place. And we're going to start with ourself and our inner circle, our circle of influence, and then let it trickle out like throwing, like a, the wave of a water as it trickles out to the entire globe. All right. So we hope to see you real soon in other videos. Until next time we connect, you be well, take care. Thanks for joining us.